It's safe to assume that most Windows interface so-called improvements have been a disaster since the days most folks will say Windows 7, but I think we should go further in time than that to at least Windows Vista or even Windows XP. Those two were beautiful, while Windows 11 is a disaster. Microsoft also keeps removing interface features only to return them after two years of backlash and present them as an innovative change to user experience. One such feature is taskbar icons grouping. If in previous versions of Windows you could expand the taskbar to have a separate box for each separate window and also have the name of the application as text, Windows 11, which has been around for about two years already, doesn't have that. It only displays the icon without the name of the application and it combines all the open windows of the same application into one icon. So if you don't know how the icon looks, not only you are struggling to find the correct icon, you are also losing time while hovering over the icon, waiting for the thumbnails of the active windows to expand and then struggling to find the exact window you want to open. All of that takes much more time and much more clicks than it used to, so apparently Microsoft just hates productivity. Anyway, after two years, they are finally returning this feature. If you are using an older build of Windows 11 and haven't received the update yet, you can force Windows to download it. There are a few ways to do it, I will be using a so-called wife tool. It has two flavors, one is command line only, the second one has the GUI, I will be using the latter one. So basically what you need to do is to download this tool, press advanced options, which will open a text box. In this text box, enter these digits. This is the number of the feature we are talking about. In the perform action drop down menu, select activate feature. After that, it should display a success message. Then you have to go to Windows Updates and download the update that appeared there. After you successfully download and install this update, reboot your computer just in case, and then open the taskbar behavior settings. It didn't have the feature that we needed, but now after we activated it and downloaded and installed the required update, a new option appeared, which is called Combine Taskbar Buttons and Hide Labels. By default it's always, you can set it to Never, and after you do that, the Windows tabs in the taskbar will finally be ungrouped and their names will appear. This feature is still half-baked though, and it works not exactly as it was working before in, say, Windows 10. But apparently, they are rolling out the update and this video will become irrelevant pretty soon, if you do update your Windows or have freshly reinstalled a newer build. But for now, this is how you do it. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.